Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Hello and hi everyone. Alright, can you write down the day and the date for today into your Matson book? So for today's lesson, we are going to learn circles. So let me introduce you the value of pi. This is one of the Greek letters. So the value will be 3.142 if you use decimal. And if you use fraction, the value will be 22 over 7. Okay now, can you take out your compass? I'm using my cello tape because I don't have my compass with me. Can you draw a circle? Alright, that particular dot in the center is what we call the center of the circle. And the line, the circles that we just draw just now, there's a name for it. And the name for it, we call it circumference. So circumference is the circle, the whole circle. So this is um, circumference. Right, can you draw another circle? Can you use compass? I'm using my free hand because I can draw like quite nice circle. Can you label from the center going to the circumference R? Okay, that R is what we call radius which is uh, measured from the center towards your circumference. Now, if you draw another line, you go from one side to the other side passing through the center. So this is what we call diameter. So diameter is twice the length of your radius which is 2R. Okay, now we're going to find the formula for circumference. So I'm just writing you the pi that I just wrote just now which is 3.142 or 22 over 7. So the formula for circumference will be 2 pi R. This formula is given in exam and also you can use uh, pi d because 2 r equals 2 d. So now looking at the first examples. Okay, let's say you want to find the length of your circumference if they give you radius equals to let's say 2.5 cm. Okay, now you have to use pi equal to, equals to 3.142. The other question, they give you diameter equal to 7, but different value of pi, which is 22 over 7. When you solve this kind of example or questions, you must use whatever information given to you. If they ask you to use pi 3142, so you're going to use um, the value. So using the formula 2 pi r, so you just substitute in the values. So 2 times 3.142 times 2.5, so the answer will be 15.71. Okay, now if you solve the second example, you have um, diameter, so you can use the other formula, which is pi d. So pi will be 22 over 7, you cancel the 7 there, so the answer will be 22 cm. Right, now I'm, give you, I'm giving you the exercise, so can you copy into your books? I'm just going to amend the value from my example, uh, change a little bit there and there. So this is my first question. Okay, my second question will be, I want you to find the value of the radius if I give you the circumference value. So please copy all the questions into your Maths 1 book and try to solve. Um, just use the formula, you got a circumference equals to 2 pi r or you can use pi d, up to you. Alright, I, I shall see you in the class. Okay, Goodbye. Kids, I'll see you after the holidays. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my